Hello, this video is brought to you by TheStreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. Today is going to be one of those game videos. I started doing a couple of these because I've been playing a game and I noticed just like with streaming that a lot of people have questions about it. And one of the things that comes up a lot is modding. And often when someone says, how do I mod? People say, just go to Nexus Mod. It's all there. Go to Nexus Mods. But that's kind of like someone saying, I'd like to learn how to cook Italian food. And someone saying, go to the grocery store. So, Nexus Mods is this website here. It's a free website. You have to register for a free account or a paid account. But I highly recommend you get the free account. We covered why you don't need the registered paid accounts in another video that I'm going to link. That also shows you how to set up the basics like Smappy. Once you're set up with your account, you just simply click on the Stardew Valley icon within its game selection. It's always at the top because it's very popular. Otherwise, you can look for it. And that will take you to the Stardew Valley mod section of Nexus Mods. You might want to bookmark this if you're going to be going back and forth on your PC or Mac a lot. But this is the site and it allows you to find things in multiple ways. Starting off you have these tabs like most popular, most popular this week, things like that. It usually defaults to the newest things. Things that are new today, you know, you can then expand to new this week and see you know, just what the latest is. But for people who are just getting started, you, know, you might want to be a lot more particular about what you want. For instance, when I got started with modding, I looked at what was popular. What do a whole lot of people use? And what you find is that these are a lot of the mods that you see people talk about in Facebook groups or on Reddit or, you know, in various forums, discords, where people talk about modding. There's a group of mods that are sort of like the spine of Stardew Valley. Things like Content Patcher, Space Core, of course, Smappy. And often, the bigger mods like Stardew Valley Expanded require them in the first place. How do you know whether you need them? It's real easy. You click on a mod. Then you go to Manual, and it will show you exactly what you need in order to use the mod. So if you click on Manual, let's see what it does. It pulls up the main files. I highly, highly recommend you read these descriptions because, you know, there might be an optional file that you don't need. You might want it. But either which way, once you click on Manual Download, it pulls up a list of all of the mods that are required to add this. And it looks like a bear. I mean, I admit it, it looks like a bear. But you'll notice as you click through these things, especially if you click on the arrow, it opens a second tab, or, you know, depending on how many you click on, if you click on 10, it'll open up 10 tabs. But it keeps it organized for you so that you can go to the next mod, and if you need to add it, you just add it. And it goes like that, so on and so forth, through all the mods. The thing is, once you're done with all of these mods, you can download Stardew Valley Expanded. We're just going to close that up for simplicity's sake, but the thing is that you do, you have to go down one by one by one by one, and you add everything that's needed to add a mod. A lot of the mods are much, much, much more simple, but Stardew Valley Expanded is almost like a whole second game built into it. There's a couple of mods like that. When you get to the mod section, you'll often have the choice between the fast download and the slow download, and that's where the paid or non-paid things come in. It's anybody with a decent internet connection is going to be able to download these things quickly. All right, so that is a little bit about you know what it takes to get the intricacies done on Nexus. Next, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about finding mods. And, you know, when people ask questions like, which mods should I add? 
what you're going to get is whatever that person's favorite mod is. But the question is, what do you want out of the game? What do you want to change? What do you wish there was more of? If you've been playing it for a while, you might know, hey, you know, I sure wish that I could have a cooler horse. Or, you know, I wish there were more rooms in the house. Or, you know, I wish it was, you know, I wish there was a way to get an auto petter without being part of the Joja Mart or something like that. And what this website lets you do is search for things both via categories and a basic search bar. So it's almost like, you know, Googling what you want. So, for instance, I mentioned auto petters. Go here to search, and I'm going to type in auto petter. Auto petter. And you see the little drop down menu starts to find it already. You know, if it's out there, you're going to know pretty quickly by what comes up. We're just going to go ahead and do it the old fashioned way and click search. And here we are. Actually, press enter in order to move forward. But you see, there's four different mods that allow you to get an auto petter without going through the Joja Mart. And what I like to do is look for the most recent one or one that's very popular, you know, something that has a lot of activity, because that usually means that that mod works. I did the craftable auto petter myself, as you see, it shows downloaded. And you can go about it like this with anything. You know, you can just look for through the searches if you know, if there's a particular mod that somebody says, you know, oh, you should get better pants or cute outfits. You know, you can go to the search and look for it like anything else. Like we'll we'll do health right here. See if there's a way to increase the amount of health you've got. So here are your options. There's a page, full page of them. And be prepared, because sometimes you do a search and you might have you know, 20 pages worth of responses. At that point, you want to pay close attention to whether something has updated recently and or whether the author responds to questions. But the cool thing is that with these thumbnails, it tells you more or less enough information to get you started. Like, do I want to look into this more? You can see, and then you can... You know, click on the mod, and then it works just like it did with Stardew Valley Expanded and the rest. You click on what's needed, and you move forward. The categories are really cool, because this is more like a store. Like if, you, if you're going to HomeDepot.com or Amazon, it has categories. And so this again, how do you want to play the game? You know, do you want to add more buildings? Do you want to change the sound effects? Do you want to add extra characters? There are tons and tons of these new characters that you can add that will walk around Pelican Town or even populate some of these other things like the you know, East Scarp that we were talking about earlier. Or, sorry, Stardew Valley Expanded. You know, but you can add everything. When events, you know, that's going to be things like festivals. You go into expansions here, and expansions is, you know, this could be a story expansion, this could be more land, this could be a bigger farm. There are all sorts of things in this. You see there's a little, looks like, you know, you get nine pages worth of mods under expansions. But often you'll see something like newer, like the Ridgeside Vietnamese is a recent mod, a more recent mod. But that means that there's something called Ridgeside Valley or Ridgeside Village already built into the game. There's East Scarp, which I mentioned a minute ago. So, you know, if you don't see the English version, because, you know, these are all foreign language translations or, you know, foreign to me, you can look for the mod itself with your search. So you keep seeing East Scarp for this, East Scarp for that, black and white, East Scarp, whatever. You can just search directly for East Scarp instead of scrolling through all of the different things. And the mod information is all right there. It tells you what it is. It tells you who you can expect to meet. And it even recommends other characters to download. Like I said, they're all going to be listed under the characters section of the mod. But this developer has put them right there for you to meet.
So that is really cool. I, I really like that. I, when I first started doing this, I didn't know anything about modding either. And so I had to watch videos to learn how to even begin the process and then spent a lot of time exploring this website and figuring out how it worked. Hopefully by the time you're done watching this video, you'll know a whole lot more than I did when I started out. But I would recommend you go through these sections, you know, see what you want to play with. You know, you want to change up your pet, you want to change up the user interface. You can make it look medieval, you can, you can add flowers to it, you can make it to look different colors. It all depends on the kind of game that you want to play. And as you go through, you can change up the looks of the characters, what your house looks like. All of that, all through mods. They're easy to install. Just check out, like I said, check out the video that shows you how to set up Smappy and things like that. If you're wondering, Smappy is absolutely required to use mods. You've probably seen that in things where you've asked questions. So you have to get Smappy. Then you go to Nexus, like I said. So if you want to see more on Smappy and how that works, check out our other video that will be in the description. If you've already got it and you've been wondering, you know, what are good mods to add, this is how you find them. This isn't one of those videos where I'm going to fly through and show you 20 mods that are in my gameplay. This is showing you how to use the tools. And I think that that's the most helpful kind of video, to be honest with you. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess I'll find out. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please subscribe. We're going to be doing Stardew Valley videos, game videos, from time to time, even though the, this channel is more about streaming. But video games have become so synonymous with streaming that I felt like we had a little crossover there. Otherwise, as always, I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.